Former Georgia Senator Saxby Chambliss spoke at the University of Georgia, and he made some cringeworthy comments about Edward Snowden. Here's what he said, quote, We need to hang him on the courthouse square as soon as we get our hands on him. I hope none of you have any sympathy for him. We're going to lose American lives as a result of this breach. Okay, where to begin? <laughs> uh, give me any evidence that you've lost American lives or you will lose American lives as a result of Edward Snowden uncovering the unconstitutional actions of our government. Give me any evidence. Any. You can't do it. You want to know how I know that? They already tried. And they came up with bupkis. Nothing. They got nothing. I love how at first the NSA was like, I forget the exact number, but they were like, well, over 50 cases of terrorism have been stopped by us spying on your grandma. I mean, by us spying on the bad guys. And then, you know, different uh, news outlets press them. Really? Why don't you break those down for us? They're like, oh, yeah, a few weeks later, they're like, oh, uh, 30 some odd instances have been stopped. What happened to 50? What happened to that? Now it's less? And then again, the more time went by, the more they're like, 12 instances. Really? Prove those. Mm. <laughs> Eventually we were down to like one or two, and then they presented those, and they were picked apart by the media, and they're like, that's actually not true. You didn't stop these people from uh, NSA spying. Hey, by the way, guys, uh, you're so good at your job, right? What the fuck happened with Abdul Aziz, who just did a terror attack in Tennessee? Where were you for that? And what happened with Dylan Roof? Dylan Roof, it was beyond obvious that he was radicalized and ready to kill people. He had a manifesto saying, I love Rhodesia, I love apartheid, I want a new confederacy, fuck black people, I'm in favor of being militant. Abdul Aziz, same thing. He said, for the glory of Allah, I must kill. Shit like that. Meanwhile, they're putting this on blogs for fuck's sake. You don't even need to dig into their personal shit to get it. It's right there in front of you. Anybody can access it. What's the NSA doing? <laughs> Nothing. They're not stopping real issues. They're like, hey, Jeff, come over here. I see somebody's titties on a webcam I hacked into. That's what they're doing. You know that's what they're doing. Because we've done endless stories which prove that that's more of what they're doing. It's so common that they spy on their ex-boyfriends and girlfriends that they have a name for when they do it. It's called Love Int. It's short for Love Intelligence. It's a whole thing they do. Everybody, like People just know about, oh, you're doing some Love Int, buddy? You, you digging up some stuff on your ex to r ruin his or her life? Wonderful. Sounds good. This is the point we're at, and this idiot is like, uh, I hope none of you have sympathy for him. Why wouldn't I have sympathy for him? He's a guy who stood up for the Constitution of the United States of America. What he did is pretty much the definition of being an American and being a patriot. He's saying, I believe in this principle. You know, I believe that... Uh, the government shouldn't infringe on your privacy. You have a protection from unreasonable search and seizure, as laid out in the Fourth Amendment. I believe in that, so I'm going to stand up for this and risk my life to do it. That's... Not only do I feel sympathy for him, I think that this guy should have a fucking statue. I think that this guy is gonna go down in history in the textbooks as a great American. He's gonna go down like Daniel Ellsberg with the release of the Pentagon Papers, which exposed the horrendous crimes of the military in Vietnam when we were using napalm and Agent Orange on on villages and we knew we were doing it on villages and we were acting like vicious terrorists. The government tried to hide that from us. Why? Because it's fucking embarrassing. But people realize, wait, 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 we're supposed to live in a democracy, right? There's supposed to be transparency. We pay this government. We're their boss. Show us what the fuck you did. They tried to hide it. Daniel Ellsberg said, how about no? How about I stand up for what's constitutional and what's right and I release this information? Now, at the time, everybody said, oh, traitor, treason, worst person ever. Today, what do people say? Yeah, he was kind of a hero. Mm, that's kind of clear. Really, people are going to do the same thing with Edward Snowden. A lot of people are doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. Others on the left and other libertarians are doing it right now where they're saying, no, he is a hero. Shut the fuck up. But uh, eventually, even the establishment will have to give in on that however many years down the road. And this shit is... It, the, what's so hilarious is that this guy is everything that he claims to hate. He's like, oh, Edward Snowden, what a horrible guy. Uh, he hates America. You know, he's the person that's not standing up uh, for the system we have. No, that's what you're doing. You're the one that apparently hates America because you hate the Fourth Amendment. You hate the Constitution. You're the one that's not standing up for the principles that this country was built on. 
We need to hang him on the courthouse square as soon as we get our hands on him. Isn't Saxby Chambliss a, a Christian? Isn't, isn't he somebody who talks about Jesus, loves Jesus, always mixes his dumbass uh, uh, so-called Christian beliefs in politics? Now all of a sudden, when he's angry at somebody, hang him! Hang him in public! Why not go a step further, big guy? Why not say, hey, let's copy our buddy Saudi Arabia. Let's do a public beheading. Let's make a spectacle. Let's say, hey, if you dare to question our government when they act in a fascist way and don't abide by the Constitution, we're going to behead you. We're going to make an example out of you. Why don't we do that? Saxby Chambliss is my enemy. Saxby Chambliss represents dictatorship, tyranny, fascism. Saxby Chambliss doesn't give a fuck about rights or civil liberties. Saxby Chambliss is the problem. 